today we're going to talk about the stampede. And it's strange food. They, they do this every year, and yep. it's like they all sit around a boardroom table, and they're like, what? nasty thing can we put on a pizza this year i don't think it has anything to do with that i think it has more to do with like they get people to apply like with their a lot of them are like food trucks and stuff true so these guys come in and they go oh that would be fun it's different right yeah and sometimes they bring in some like really yummy stuff yes and then there's also the stuff that i'm just like why but i guess they want to see if people will do it so here we go like they have here a deep fried oreo mini donut couldn't possibly be bad Deep fried Oreo anything is yeah. good. Deep fried anything is almost always good, unless it's like crickets. And that's I've totally always different. been confused. You know how they have deep fried ice cream? Yeah, yeah. How did you do that? How did it not melt in the middle? They freeze it, and then they put a batter around it. I did that. I, I wondered that same thing. <laughs> uh, years ago, I went to K-Days, and they had a deep fried cheesecake in like chocolate, but they froze it, and then they deep fried it. Okay. And it, so it kind of more stays together. How do we feel about honey habanero ice pop? Like a popsicle, but it's honey habanero, and well, it's called spicy meets cold. Well, the thing is, is, if you like like the spicy sort of like Mexican candies and stuff that have like that sweet with the spicy, yes. you're gonna love that. I my grandparents used to go down to Mexico all the time, and one time they brought back, um, it wasn't popsicles, but it was suckers mm-hmm. with a little scorpion in them, mm-hmm. so that by the time you finished, you would. It, the idea was to eat the scorpion. Obviously, I never did. It's like the bottle with the worm in the bottle. Yeah, yeah. not doing that. <laughs> Not doing that. <laughs> That's next stampede. Yeah, right. A, a drink with a little worm at the bottom that you're supposed to eat. They do have bad breath lemonade. I saw that, and it's got like <laughs> what they were saying is like it's got like a garlic onion finish. Yeah, yeah, like it's lemonade. Let's be oh. honest. I love putting garlic and onion in everything. Like everything I cook, pretty much has that in it. But do I want to drink it? I mean, how much more different is it than drinking the pickle juice out of the jar? probably very bitter still like obviously yeah. less dill yeah i don't know i'm not i don't i so don't think out i could of do it five what are we rating the deep fried oreo mini donuts number even one. before tasting them. number one because i'm gonna eat it i would say like five out of five yeah okay yeah yeah <laughs> i thought you were going like in our row what we no no, no. like rating them out of five yeah honey habanero ice pops Three? That's a three. I okay. would try it. I don't know if I would love it or not, but I would try it. And Bad Breath Lemonade, I'm rating it a two. I've got low. I'm going low one. Hopes. Like, that just sounds <laughs> wrong. I mean, I get, like, some people like, like, the pickle juice and things like that, but I'm not one of them. Like, I like pickles. I just, I'm not drinking their juice. Do you know what a horchata is? Yes, I love horchata. I'm unfamiliar. <sighs> and the picture is not helping me whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually really good. You and I should actually try that. What is it? It's like, it's a special kind of milk drink, right? But it depends on, some people put alcohol in it or whatever, okay. right? But it's good. Like, you can actually buy it in bottles now. And this one's in a pineapple. Yeah, I would totally be all over that. Okay. Mm. Another lemonade here is lemon meringue lychee. I love lychee nut drinks. Is it lychee? Yeah, lychee. Lychee okay. nut drinks. I love them. So I would be all over that one. You're you're far more experimental <laughs> in the food, because I'm looking at this, I'm like, don't know it. Pass. <laughs> Not doing it. Pass. And I'm like, sure, I'll try it once. But, Samosas on a stick. Oh, yeah. Gotta be good. There's also a samosa poutine. Oh, well, yeah. I'm on a Like two things. Octopus Rangoon. So I actually would... I like calamari, like big time. Yeah, I'm a huge okay. calamari fan. And then I have a friend who has a restaurant, and she makes octopus all the time. And I used to be like, no, I, I can't do it. Because it's not battered like calamari and all yeah. that. It's actually pretty decent. I would... So I might... Try it. It's not something I want to spend like eighty dollars on. It, it actually it looks like octopus is kind of on the side here. It's a one ton shell filled with crab meat, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, and diced octopus. Okay, so, so that sounds delicious. Yeah, it's almost as if the octopus took a side, but they put octopus in there to make you think it was weird. Yeah, totally true. That's You're their, more likely to buy it than they do think. Yep. Cream cheese stuffed crab. Yep. Another lemonade, cotton candy lemonade. They're all over that lemonade this year. Yeah, but it's hot usually. Stampede can be super warm and you're going to drink all Very the Very true. Yeah. They have those little slurpy stands mm-hmm. that just missed you. Yep. And on a hot stampede day. No, I, I get it. And the water thing where they spray you when you walk through it, I'm all over that. That's yes. Yeah, it's yeah. Hot. You ever go to Callaway Park and they have that boat ride and then you can not even be on the ride and just shoot water guns yes. at the people in there? Yep. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> So now we're getting to like the top of the page here, the the big cheese. The big cheese. The Let's talk about the cheese one. Korean? Oh, like Cajun fried cheese curd poutine? No, that sounds delicious. I would do that. I was what? thinking more, did you see the soft serve KD? Oh. 
Can we not? Craft dinner ice cream sounds like something that's good for two bites. I don't even and think it's you good are for two bites. Over I don't want cheesy ice cream. And especially like, I mean, I guess if it was like Gouda or something delicious, maybe. But when it's powdered KD and what, do they just grind up some pasta powder and throw that in? Like, ugh. The debate ugh. here then is, would you put ketchup on it? Heck no. I don't do it with my regular <laughs> KD. It's not happening. Nope. Mm-mm. And some kid, you know how when you're a kid, you see someone with an ice cream and you're like, I want ice cream now. They don't know what they're in for. They think it's some sherbet orange and... They go to eat it. It's like... (laughs) Maybe that's a prank we should play on all children who have to go to Stampede and make us spend money. You know what we should, like, apply to be on the board of food? And then taste A cup of hot dog water. No, something (gasps) just strange and weird. Yes! Yes! You boil the hot dogs and then take the water, put it in a cup, put a little olive on a toothpick. Yep. Put and if you don't there. like it and you brought your dog down, they're going to love it. Yeah. So you have somebody to share but with. But people will buy it because it's at the Stampede and it's weird. And it's hot dog water and you'll make $10 a bowl. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, this is great. Take out this horchata pineapple and put a bowl of hot dog water there. <laughs> she really wants hot dog water if you can't <laughs> No, tell. I do not. I want to profit off the hot dog water. Well, true enough. Okay, we're going to go open our own stand. Stampede, are you listening? We're coming down with the hot dog water. That would be great. And I, you know what? We'll just go ask all the corn dog places to give us their boiled corn dogs. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if they make their own dogs. I'm sure they warm them up before they... Well, they may not have to. Either way, I eat all the corn dogs anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're as long as your forearm, and they're only like $4. And I literally go just for that. It's like the first thing I go for, yeah. and then I want at least one more on the way out, and then you got to get the mini donuts. <laughs> yeah, it does. And this year, with all the different flavors of new mini donuts, I'm in. Yeah, I'm they've, in they've really embraced the mini donuts here. Like, there's a lot on this list. I'm like, that could be good. You probably don't work out all that much. You don't have to, like me. But I literally try to diet like the week before Stampede so that when I gain 10 pounds for the one day that I go, I don't feel feel bad. bad.